Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we are going to make some etched glass dishes. I just picked these ones up when they were rather inexpensive and we're just going to have a little fun testing them out. So I've gone ahead and already made my designs on my program and printed them on my vinyl cutter. So I've made a vinyl stencil. Here I'm just weeding out the vinyl that I don't need and leaving what I do need. This little black rubber container that I'm using is super handy for catching all of my vinyl trimmings that I pull off of my stencils. Uh, for some reason it doesn't stick to it. I think it's made out of silicone so super handy for grabbing all of the extra vinyl because if not it just sticks to your fingers usually by the time I'm done this I have vinyl all over my fingers and hands uh, so this is our second design here and again I'm just weeding out everything that I don't want from the stencil at this time as well when I'm done weeding everything out I usually cut it down with the scissors and make sure it's as square as I can get it and just taking off any excess vinyl. All right, so these are the inexpensive glass dishes that I just picked up just to play with this. Uh, but one thing that you can do is like a baking dish, like a large glass baking dish. You could put anything, pretty much anything you'd like, like on the bottom of it um, for this one. So I'm just doing one that says property of the steel's kitchen and the other one just for fun. I put you've been poisoned on it. Uh, so what you see here is my transfer tape. So it's basically like a sheet of sticker. What you do is you put it down on top of the actual vinyl stencil that I made using the scraper to kind of get out any air bubbles and make sure it's flat on the transfer tape. So now the transfer tape has picked up the stencil so that I can place it on the glass. Um, obviously always making sure that everything is centered left to right and top to bottom, also straight. Um, and then again with the scraper just to press down and make sure it's adhered good to the item that you are using your stencil on um, Again making sure no air bubbles so it does look backwards and that's just so that when you're looking through the down through the dish um, it looks uh, like normal And for the second one this is the steel, uh, property of the steel's kitchen and same process. Put the transfer tape on top of the vinyl stencil, uh, flatten it out to get any air bubbles out. Then you just want to stick it on the bottom of your dish and obviously making sure everything is clean and making sure it's centered. All right, and here's the finished product for that one. So our stencils adhered nicely to the glass. Uh, both of our stencils now are. So we're gonna go ahead and use our Armor Etch, which is like an etching cream. It's pretty easy to use. So all we're gonna do is just use like, I use like a coffee stir stick or you can use a pops popsicle stick. Um, and what you want to do is just wipe the etching cream on your design. So you want to have it a little thick and you want to rub it over the whole surface and just make sure you're covering everywhere that there's glass showing on your stencil. So it needs to be a little thick and completely covered. It looks quite goopy and messy, um, but that's what you want. Now we'll go ahead and do the second one and once this step's complete what you want to do is just set it aside and leave it to sit for 20 minutes. Oh, 
All right, so here we are 20 minutes later, uh, ready to clean off our etching cream. The nice thing about this is we did put a lot on there to begin with, but now we can actually wipe off the excess and save it for our next project. Um, all that's going to adhere to the glass is the layer that is touching the glass. So all the excess you can wipe off, like I said, save it for your next project, which is really nice because it makes this uh, armor etch go a long way. Um, so it's in there. It doesn't look very bright or anything when you're making it when it's wet. Um, but after you'll see that it stands out quite nicely on the glass. So here you'll see I'm just peeling off all the vinyl now. All right, now that all the vinyl is peeled off, you'll see the finished product. And you'll see it looks a little bit frosted, like almost like a frosted glass. Turns out really nice and it looks even better when you give it a wash afterwards as well. And now I'll just go ahead and complete the second one. And the best part of any stencil is peeling the last little bit off. And there we go, the finished product. These are super hard to get pictures of sometimes, but hopefully you can make them out good. Uh, so I just tested out two uh, to start. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you think of the glass dishes or maybe something you'd like to get on your glass dish. Thanks for watching.